Hi developers, uh, welcome back to SFDC Panther. This is Amit, and today we are going to learn uh, how we can share uh, the JavaScript code between Lightning Web Components. And that means if we have some reusable code that we can use in different different components, we can put that code in a single web component, and then we can import that uh, those methods uh, in our different different components. So for example, uh, we say that uh, we have a sort host, like we wanted to show some notification to the users. Based on our requirement, it might be a warning, it might be a success, uh, or it might be a, some information about any um, particular things that we wanted to display to our users. We can put that code into a shared JavaScript file, and from there we can import. So to do so, what we need to do is we just need to follow three simple steps uh, one is we just need to create a es6 module inside our shared uh, web component and then export the method that we have created export the module that we have created with the help of export and then import that uh, in our consumer component and then uh, you can use so for this uh, tutorial i have already created that web component i'll show you so let's go ahead to the visual studio so i have created uh, two JavaScript files. One is uh, JavaScript utils files. Uh, here I have created a module that is <coughs> ES6 module. Uh, the method name is so toast and I'm passing here four variables. So if you have if you are familiar with uh, so toast in a web component, you will see that we have four variables that is variant and that defines what kind of information we wanted to show to the user. Like it might be a success message, an information, an error message, or a warning to the user. And then what type of uh, notification it will be, either it's dismissible or if you want it to, it's, uh, let's say that uh, it, is to, it displays until the user is not closing that. And then what is the title of that, and then what message you wanted to show to the user. So to use the show toast method, we have to implement uh, that is platform so to us a module from from the lightning library so I have already imported that the method and then I have created that here and then I'm returning the event whatever the event I have constructed over here uh, with the dynamic information that you wanted to display to the users and then I uh, same thing this is the step one that we have created that exist module so uh, let me comment put the comment here step one And that is create an E6 module. And then step two is uh, like export using the export. So here we are exporting and export the module. So if you have more than one module, let's say that if you have uh, here, you are saying that anything. Uh, and let's say that so alert and uh, you don't want to pass any variable so just remove this for the notification just I'm going to put here alert here and inside another module so as you can see that my linter is showing and compiling error so I'll put here es Lint disable okay so now what I will do I'll just put this here as well what the error we are getting okay so we are getting the error because of this now cool we are good now so you can see that we can export all those whatever the modules we have created with the help of constraint and we can also do one thing and let's say that uh, if you have any method uh, I'll put it inside comment so you can also use this methodology is export my function you can use and let's say that yep you can use here okay it will be this one like this so as uh, if you are uh, commenting on this Okay, what we are getting here is here. Cool. 
okay it's something that export default isn't supported so you can also use this method as well i'll share a document where it will um, say that how you can use this so this is something that you can export this is the second step and now i have also I've created one web component and that is <coughs> miscellaneous said javascript that is a web component and inside that what i did uh, let me open that javascript file here you can see that i have imported some modules some dependencies from lwc folder and then i have imported as two methods from other web component that is called as mortes i will show you that as well and then i have imported a so toast and then let me import that other method that i created here that is so alert so I'm importing both this but I'm not using here so what I'll do is uh, yep <coughs> inside that I'll also use that method so that okay so here you can see so let me first open this mod gaze so this is the other JavaScript file here I'm just creating two uh, two modules two es6 module one is for getting the number of terms how many terms you want uh, like for how many years you want to calculate that emi process and the second is calculate the monthly monthly payment based on what is the principal amount number of years and what is the rate what is the instant insta <coughs> interest rate and then based on that we are returning information here and then exporting so uh, all those three uh, two steps are being followed here and then the third step for importing that we are following here in this javascript here we wanted to reuse the code of these two javascript file so i have created three properties for principal term and rate and then we have monthly payment uh, like in which in this variable we will be storing the monthly calculated emi and then you can see inside terms in term options we are using the get term options method of this mode gaze component and then we have in, in our html5 we have some inputs where on the change of those input we are handling those event and then assigning the changed value to the to the reactive properties that we have created and in calculate payment method on the click of that button you can see that there is a button lightning this that this one uh, you can see that is uh, there is a button lightning button that is calling that method calculate payment and then on the click of that button we are calling the method that is called as calculate monthly payment and here we are using calculate monthly payment method of our this component and then passing those variables the required variables whatever the variables we have the value and then after that we are dispatching our event with the help of dispatch event with all the methods with all the properties passed here you can see and then we are calling that other method so let me push the updated code uh, to my default org and then we will see the output here So as you can see that we have successfully pushed the code into our component sorry into our uh, default org so let me go ahead and open my org so this is the org where we pushed i've already added that code here that component here in my application page so i'll just show you how the, how it's working like it's uh, we should be able to see the success message over there and we should be able to see the alert message so you can see the terms that we are uh, creating Let's say that we are creating these terms from our uh, the mortgage component. Let's say that I'm get, giving it as 99, and then if I'm clicking on this, you can see I'm, we are able to see the method name, method alert that is I'm inside and an other module, and then we are also able to see that success message here. Why we are getting a success message? Because we have we have uh, given uh, we have passed variant as a success we have passed the mode, mode as a dismissible and then title is success and whatever the masses we are passing here we are getting the same masses there so now let's say we are passing error here and let's see after that we will post the code to our source org and we'll see one like we should be able to see two toast there 
one but one will be for success and one will be for other sorry error so in the meantime how you how you will create this um, utility file so this is nothing this is a simple web component that you can create so you can just use create go ahead and lightning web component select the location let's say that i'm just putting it here as a util test and then hitting enter and after it will create the component it will open the javascript file so it will uh, like it will open with the default import default module import like this you can see lightning element and it will create a class so what you need to do is just remove this class then you start creating the constant module let's say that here we are creating so masses and if you wanted to I'm <coughs> sorry I did ES6 so it will be using arrow function and then here just try to use export and use whatever your method name is uh, so message so you can see and now if you wanted to pass any variable you can pass that variable and then just put alert here and you can say that message from component is and then use that variable here <coughs> so now what we'll do we'll just type that that thing yes lint disable cool so as we have we can see that we have successfully pushed that code into the org so first we'll see that and then we'll try to import this uh, util test and we'll see that if the import is successfully working or not so let's let it be i'm just changing it to 40 percent that's it and i'm clicking on calculate we are getting that alert here you can see that we are getting now two alerts one is for error because we have we only changed that mode uh, sorry variant part of um, where we are calling we just changed that variant part here so let me comment out this because we don't need this as of now so now let's do one thing Hmm, just remove this what we'll do we'll import that we created here so import and uh, let let it be and we'll say that from it will be c for slash and uh, what, what we created that was util test right yep it was util and test so and go back to the util test create a so message here so we are importing this method and then we will be calling this method from here and we will pass that util test shared component so let me clear the screen and after clearing this screen i will try to push the code and let let's see if you are able to successfully push the code so you can see that we have successfully pushed that code and we are also able to see that util test html javascript file right so now let's go ahead to, to our org I'm not getting any kind of error here so let's go back to our org we'll try to see that if you are able to see that or not so here uh, now let's let it be as it is and click on calculate payment you can see message from consumer component is util test shared component whatever the message was there and if you click on mess okay you will get those uh, alert 
those toast masses so this is how simple you can use uh, you can say a javascript between the different web component you can put your reusable code inside a single uh, let's say that you are creating some component called util.js or util file anything and then uh, you can use uh, the import method so here in the import what you need to the c is the default namespace if your org has any namespace uh, you need to put that namespace name over here and then put this so while using don't use like this because uh, we, while we are composing the component inside component we try to use we try to separate each and uh, every word with a hyphen but here it doesn't work so this is uh, this this was the complete for complete thing for today's tutorial i hope you have learned something new thank you guys